Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. This is part 6 of SQL Server tutorial. In today's session, we will discuss about date types in SQL Server. So, we have different data types in SQL Server. So, dates also one of the data type. So, in dates, we have different types of formats that is, date, date time, small date time, and timestamps. Date format will be year, month, and date will be there. Date time means it will be added along with the date, hour, minutes, seconds and fractional seconds will be added together. Small date time it will be added date and time. Fractional seconds will not be here. Date time only we have fractional seconds and small date time we don't have that one. Only small date time will consider year, month, date, hours, minutes and seconds only it will store. Timestamp it is a unique number will be generated. Whenever you are taking data type as timestamp one unique number will be generated and the timestamp will be stored in binary format. Whenever there is a change in the data, that time it will be incremented automatically by the SQL Server. This data types we can assign at the time of creating table. Also, we can add the date data type after creating tables also by using alter statement. We'll see one by one with the examples. This is the date syntax. Whenever you are creating table, if you want to add the date, you have to create table, table name you have to provide here, column name and here data type will be there. In our case, if you want to assign the date as data type, here we have to pass the date. This is the example we are going to see in today's session. We will create one table called demo and we will create some columns and here we have to add the data type. In our case, date is the data type. We'll switch to SQL Server and we'll see the demo. So in this example, I'm using SQL Server 2012 for demo purpose and I'm using Windows authentication. Click on connect. It is connected to my SQL Server. Expand the databases. I'm going to use demo database for this example. Here you can create tables in two different ways. One is graphically you can create and you can create through query. Already in previous videos, I have explained how to create tables in design mode as well as through query. If you, if you have not seen my previous videos, please watch my previous videos. So right click on the tables to create table, new table. I am giving as column name ID and data type I am giving as integer. I don't want to alone else here. I am taking one more column called name. I am giving data type as what 50 characters. Here I want date of joining column. I am giving as DOJ. Here we can select the data type. We have different data types here. So we have to select date here. I am selecting date here. I click on the table. Save table. It is asking for table name. I am giving as demo. Click on OK. Expand the tables. Our table has been created. We will edit top 200 rows. I am inserting some values here. So date of joining I am entering as 2020 John 1. It is taking date. In We will try to add time also and then we will see how it will treat. I am entering some time here. See even if you are entering time also it is treating only date values only it is considering that means year month and date format only it will accept if you are entering other than these values also it will consider only this date format okay now we will see how to add date through query click on new query we will create one more table i'm creating demo one here we need some columns id integer and i don't want to allow nulls here and i'm creating one name Then finally, I need date of joining here. We need date. So this is the data type we have to pass. We are passing as date because we are going to save only date in the date of joining. Okay. Click on execute. It's executed. Refresh on your tables. Our table is created. So see, like this, you can assign the date data type into your table 
So it depends on your requirement. If you want to store only date, then you can select the data type as date. If you want to store time also, then you can use the date time. It depends on our requirement. Okay. So next one is date time. This whenever we want to save the date along with the time, that time we will use the date time data type. Okay. This is the syntax to create date time. Create table, column name and data types we have to provide. This is the example create table. We have to provide the table name here. Here we are providing column and this is the data type here. We are taking one joining date column and for that we want to save date and time also. So that's why we are using data type as date time. We'll switch to SQL Server and we'll see the demo. First we'll see graphically how to create the table along with the date time data type. Here I am creating one table, right click on the table, new table. I am taking column name id, integer, I don't want all one else. Username I am taking here. I want to store logged in date time. For that I will give the data type as date and time. So right click here, save table. I'm giving table name as demo2, click on OK. Expand our tables, refresh here. Our table created, edit top 200 rows and we'll see the demo. We'll try to insert some records. Here we have to capture the date time. For that I'm entering some date time here. See, here it is storing year, month, date, along with that timings also it is storing. This is hours, minutes, seconds and fractional seconds also it is storing. If you are not passing any values, that time automatically it will take the zero. Suppose I am inserting one more record here. I am passing only date value here. So it will take all zeros because we have not passed any time. So by default SQL Server will insert. Now we will create one table through query and we'll check how to add the date time data type to SQL Server table. Click on new query. Create table. I'm creating one table. We have to provide the table name. Then we have to add the columns here along with the data type. And I'm giving as username here for my column name. I'm giving as vector 50. And I want to store logged in date time here. For that I'm using data type as date time. Click on execute. Our table is created. Refresh here. Expand the tables and check the columns. So we have created our table with the date time. So it depends on your requirement whether you want to save the date alone or date with the time. So based on requirement we have to use the data types. Next date type is small date time. This is the syntax for small date time. Create table. We have to provide the table name here, column name and data types. Small date time will store the year, month, date along with the hour, minutes and seconds. This will not allow fractional seconds here. In date time previous example we had seen it will allow fractional seconds also but whereas small date time it will not allow fractional seconds. It will insert year, month, date, hours, minutes and seconds only. So this is the example we are going to see. Create this is the table name we are giving. Here we are creating some columns and we are giving data types. Here you have to give data type as small date time for adding small date time data type. We will switch to SQL Server and we will see the demo. We will create one table with the small date time. First we will use in design mode. Right click on the tables, new table. I am creating ID. I don't want to alone else. Username. I am giving data type. 
here I want to store logged in small date time so here we can give it as small date time as my data type right click here save table I'm giving table name as demo 6 click on ok refresh here our table is created we'll insert some records edit top 200 rows so we will enter some values here one I'm giving as my I'm giving my username as demo logged in date I'm giving as 091012 so in previous example we had seen with the date time it will allow fractional seconds also whereas in small date time it will allow only hours minutes and seconds it's not accepting fractional seconds even if you try to add fractional seconds also it will not allow because it's not the valid data so we will try to insert one more record as demo one so i'm not entering any hours by default it will take zero zero only next we'll see how to add the small date time through query click on new query create table i'm giving table name as demo 7 and i'm going to add some columns here id is my column name data type and this is the constraint i'm giving as not null i want to give i want to give username here data type i'm providing i want to store logged in i want to store logged in small date time i want to store here here you can give the data type as small date time that's it click on execute what table is created you can expand the tables and you can check that so refresh here our demo 7 is created you can expand the columns and you check it small date time added to the logged in underscore small date time column like this you can use the small date time next date type is timestamp Whenever you use the timestamp, it will generate one unique number and that unique number will be stored in binary format. Especially this timestamp will be used in link queue concept. When if there is any change in the row, we need to identify. For that purpose, we will use the timestamp in link queue. This is the syntax to add timestamp to your table. We are creating one table here. We are creating some columns and we are providing data type. In our case, we have to give the data type as timestamp this is the example create table table name is we are giving as demo and this is my column and data type so here we are passing timestamp as data type so whenever there is a new record is inserted automatically timestamp will be inserted by the sql server and its timestamp will be stored as binary format we'll switch to sql server and we'll see the demo First, we'll see how to add the timestamp to a table through design mode. Right click on the tables, new table. I'm giving as ID, integer, I don't want to allow nulls, name, back 50. I want to store my row version and I want to give it as timestamp here. Save the table. I am giving my table name as demo8, click on ok, expand the tables and refresh, our table is created, you can check the columns, timestamp has been added to your table, edit top 200 rows, we will insert some data and we will check how it works the timestamp, I am providing name here, version I am not providing anything, see binary data, if you check the table with the select query we will check the data by using select query demo 8 is my table name demo 8 execute see this is stored as binary data suppose if there is any change in these values automatically this version name will be changed we will check that one also 
this is our data we will make it as test 1 I am not changing anything in the version previously it was we will copy this data and we will paste it here so previous data was this one now we will try to execute this query see now it is automatically incremented okay so to identification will be easy in the link queue concept it will be times this timestamp will be used in link queue concept okay now we'll see how to add the timestamp through query click on new query create table i am creating one more table called demo 9 we will add some columns here it is here not null i am giving name here data type i am giving as worker 50 and i am giving as row version here and i am giving as timestamp as my data type click on execute it's executed successfully refresh on your tables table is created check the columns so timestamp created to row version so like this you can use the different date types in sql server that's it for today if you like this video please like and subscribe to my channel thanks for watching